The sagacious zoo is so if you look at like the, the, the body shapes between the, the male and the female characters, look at the three women. I mean look, I mean she's a little girl. Alright, so she's younger, that's fine, she's smaller. Look at the, the body shapes and sizes of the three three women. The princess, Dawnstar and me. We basically have the same body, look at that. It's pretty much the same size. Pretty much the same shape. I guess the princess is slightly thinner. But otherwise, the three bodies are pretty much interchangeable, right? It's just the same bodies. Whereas if you look at the men, we have a skinny dude. We have uh, uh, a healthy man. And then we have a giant man. And then we have uh, another, a different kind of skinny dude. So you notice that the, the body shapes between the men are a lot more different than the body shapes between the women. You see that? You see that? And this is the issue of body diversity between genders in video games, but also in, in other media. Like all the... You'll notice, like if you, if you pay attention, you'll notice that for the most part, the, the, all, the, all the women portrayed in, in films, in games, they all have the same body, which is the, the sexy body type, right? Like this, this body. Whereas the men often have uh, much more diversity. You have like big men and, and skinny men and fat men. Uh, and this is especially uh, evident if you look at Street Fighter, the, the fighting game series. If you look at Street Fighter, all the women are much more similar. Whereas if like if you look at um, like Chun-Li and Cammy and uh, let's look at all the all the female characters, they're, they're all much more similar. I mean, there is some difference, mostly in the size of the boobs, which is kind of funny. but. Uh, like, but they're much more similar than, say, if you look at Zangief, and then Sagat, and then Delsum, and Blanca. Like, if you look at the, the male characters, the the very the variety of sizes and shapes is much wider than than the female characters. And this is uh, quite consistent in a lot of video games. Like, all the women somehow have the same body, but the men have different bodies, and this is a problem. And uh, we can trace this problem back to. Uh, the perception that women have to be sexy, like men can be whatever they want to be, but women have to be sexy. This is this is a subtle form of sexism. Like you, like you very, you, it, it's very unlikely that you find. It's like it's not often that you find a fat woman in a video game, for example. So Ellie from Borderlands Two is unusual in that sense. This is the wrong place. Uh, what the? So like really fat woman or like really muscular woman is, is unusual. I mean even a game like uh, Overwatch, which is quite good in its diversity, you'll find that like the, 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 the muscular woman, which is Zarya, is, is nowhere near as, you know, over the top as, as the like the muscular men. And then there's a, and then all the all the all the little girls. Like a uh, diva and uh, tracer, and I mean they're all, they're all you know, they're all sexy in in the sense that, I mean to put it crudely, they're they're fuckable, you know, you know like whereas uh, not all the men are like for example the the men there's Roadhog, and there's uh, who's that other guy, the the rat guy, so there's Roadhog which is like a fat guy, and then there's, and then there's the uh, oh, I forgot his name. But anyway, like you look at the male characters, and this is, I mean, even in the game, which is relatively good with diversity, like Overwatch, and Blizzard is good with diversity in their games, even there, there's more diversity in the male characters than there is in the female characters. Like, if you look at, like, what are the female, like, Diva, Mercy, oh, I guess May, but May, it's, it's mostly her clothes, it's not even her body itself, like, she's, like, wearing a big coat, so you don't really know what her body shape is underneath the giant coat. Like, the, um, uh, Mercy, Widow, Tracer, Diva. Um, what's what's the what's the what am I missing? Oh, um, Farah. Oh, I guess Farah is wearing a big armor too, so you can't tell what she is under there. But it's it's kind of implied that they all have very similar body shapes, which is like this kind of skinny, lean, sexy female body, and uh, as opposed to the, the male bodies, which, as I said earlier, like Roadhog is just a fat guy. 
which is I mean it's not really sexy unless you're into fat guys. But that's but with, like where's the fat woman? There's a there's a fat man. Where's the fat woman? You see what I mean? So there's less diversity in the female bodies for some reason. And you know, you might think, well, what's the big deal? Like, why, why is that a problem? I mean, conceivably, like, it's not really a like, problem. Why is there a problem? Why, why is there a problem when there's no fat woman? It's not really about fat woman. Like, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a chubby chaser. Like, it's not a, it doesn't bother me that there's no fat woman. What bothers me is that it's less imaginative, right? Like, if you are, if you can only have sexy woman bodies, then your imagination as a game designer is constrained in that area. And so then the game is not as interesting as it could be. That's the problem. Like you're constraining the imagined, you're constraining the, the design the design space. You're constraining like the, the boundaries of, of what you are allowed to do in the game, is what I'm trying to say. Um Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. And it's just less interesting. It's less interesting when you when you limit your creativity in that way. Blessing board. Placing the token from the Lotus Assassin Recruiter in a recessed portion of the Blessing board causes a barely audible click. The two mobiles. Enter the Lotus Assassin Fortress. Ah, I was told to expect a new recruit, and you fit the description. Well done, braving the necropolis. A troublesome walk, but it weeds out the weak. Right. I am the Watcher, and this is the fortress of the Lotus Assassins. It was built amid the graves of a thousand generations, the tomb of the Emperor at its core. Come, I will show you to the Hall of Induction. If you have servants, they will be allowed to accompany you, but you are responsible for their actions. My servants are allowed to accompany me. <laughs> you people are so bad. Why would you allow strangers in here? Alright, it's dark. Formed from the defunct Order of the Lotus, the Lotus Assassins are an extension of the Emperor, as dictated by Death's Hand, and implemented by Grand Inquisitor Jia. Jia. Thanks to her direction, we are becoming the face of power in the Empire. The Imperial Army will soon be stationed only at taverns and fish markets. That's not actually a good idea. The great idea. Golem Army constructed here will spread across the Empire. Our masters will be all-powerful. You will assist if you survive. Weak recruits die quickly. Settle down, man. Master Gang is one of our traders. He will be your master as you seek to become an assassin. He is harsh, but his knowledge will be invaluable to you. You will find him at the opposite end of the Hall of Induction, near the entrance to the Central Chambers. Do not keep him waiting. It's just random megalomania. It's just like, hi, welcome to the fortress. We will take over the Empire. Your trainer is at the opposite of the hall. <laughs> it's like, why did you insert that in the middle? Why did you insert that random... Megalomaniacal ranting in the middle of that. <laughs> Let's settle down, bro. <laughs> oh man. So it's like if you're an order of assassins, isn't it more useful for you to stay behind the scenes and use the Imperial Army as as your foot soldiers? It's like, soon we will push the, the Imperial Army aside and we'll take over everything. Doesn't that make things more complicated for you? Why would you want to do that? Why don't you just have the Imperial Army as an extension of of you so that you can use them to do the, the, the menial tasks and then you can focus on the other stuff? The thing about, like, the thing about ambition is that some people just want everything. They want to own everything. They want to control everything. And uh, these are the people who, who haven't actually been in charge of anything in their lives. And so in their mind, 
they think that it's a good thing to be in control of everything. When the reality is that being in control of everything is a pain in the ass because it just gives you more work to do. It just means you have to more to manage more stuff. What you want to do is to have other people manage things, but they answer to you, right? So you don't you don't have to control them, but you have enough influence so that you can get whatever you want from them. That's actually the best situation. Best situation. Best situation is not to be in control of everything, but to be able to get whatever you want whenever you want. Like even if you don't control, if you ostensibly don't actually own anything, if you can get whatever you want whenever you want, that's essentially having as as whatever you want. It's like having whatever you want without actually owning anything. If that makes sense, like you don't have to own it right now. All that you need is that when you want it, you can get it. You know what I mean? Whereas if you own it right now, then you you have to manage it. You have to take care of it. You have to kind of deal with it every single day. But if it's not yours now, and you only take it when you need it, then you don't have to deal with it when you don't need it. You only deal with it when you do need it. Does that make sense? Anyway, so these people are, are silly. That's what I'm trying to say. Like they're not real villains. They're not smart villains. What would you like to know? Uh, tell me about the leaders of the Lotus Assassins. Death's hand is the one who brings us the will of the Emperor, but Grand Inquisitor Gia rules in his absence. He's absent. Why is he absent? Death's hand rules us all. We obey him in all things, for he is the will of the Emperor. There is no more to tell. Our lives are his. That's strange. Grand Inquisitor Gia is the foremost acolyte of Death's hand. She was one of the first converted from the old Order of the Lotus, and she is fearsome in her power. You would be wise to never even give the appearance of challenging her. She takes offense easily, and even masters have been killed for displeasing her. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> That's so stupid. You kill your own masters just for them annoying you. So you're basically weakening your own organization because of your own... Like your own short temper causes you to weaken your own organization, which you are in charge of. That's so stupid. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I mean, it's like you, you let the pet. Basically, you're letting the petty things get in the way of the important things. If you're gonna kill your masters just for saying the wrong thing at the wrong time, it, 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 that's petty. Ah, uh, return to my other questions. I will answer, but you... Fortress and Golem army. This was to be the tomb of the Emperor. It rests in the heart of the Necropolis, the accumulation of thousands of years of the Empire's dead. It was the perfect place to begin constructing the utterly loyal Golem forces the Emperor demanded through Death's hand. We could harvest all the spirits we need. What? Harvest what? You harvest what? Why are you constructing golems? They are the perfect soldiers. Unrelenting. Obedient. The ideal that all Lotus assassins aspire to achieve. Slaves that die to be golems are blessed. Oh. The Imperial Army is weak, filled with questioning generals that do not know the path to glory. Even we assassins envy the pure subservience of a golem. Soon the will of the Emperor will be plain, and Death's hand will step aside so he can enforce his glorious vision openly. Opposition will be impossible. Um, who would dare oppose the Emperor? There are those that think the Emperor must serve the will of the people, but they are traitors in disguise. His glory is our glory. Death's hand will make it so. Hmm. Harvest bodies from Necropolis. No, you fool. We harvest spirits. Many linger where their bodies inter, although the freshly dead produce a far more responsive golem. We now exclusively butcher slaves for this purpose. If you are lucky, you will be allowed to help in the process. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Well, they are butchering the slaves to take their souls to move the golems. That makes sense. Um, yeah, it makes sense. 
<laughs> it's. I'm not sure if they actually need the Golem army though. It's like an. It is, it's an army that has no enemy. I mean, again, it's it's this kind of. It's this megalomania, this inefficient megalomania. <laughs> If you don't have an enemy and you raise an army, then you basically have to maintain the army. You have to spend your resources maintaining an army that you're not going to use right now. So why why did you why do you raise the army in the first place? Like if you don't need it now, but you build it and then you have to pay for it to to maintain it. Anyway, see these people <laughs> they're not they're not they're not smart villains. I will answer, but you should not delay your duties. Uh, did someone tried to enter the fortress just before I did. I saw no one. Only the most skilled of our number can enter this place without my knowing. I am the Watcher. Well, maybe the Watcher is Sky. All right. Go to your teacher, Acolyte. Do not keep him waiting. The far end of the hall, at the entrance to the central chambers. That could be Sky if you had a service under Master Gong will lead us to the information we need. We knew about the golems, but is Death's hand or the Emperor behind it all? Maybe it's the same person. Maybe the Emperor is Death's hand. Oh, I can break a jar. Get kicked. Wait, nothing was in it. I killed the jar for no reason. There was no money in it. Wow. All right, this staircase. That is a bad door. Spirit focus uh, shrine. Kop awuka inir u afawapi ithaturo turo uk. We'll make sure you know your place. I'm looking at these statues. They're pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. Crazy. Look at that. This is amazing. What was that about making me know my place? Look, we have fresh blood, another soul for the forge, or a new pet for the masters. We don't need more competition for attention. <laughs> you people are so bad at your jobs. With the rise of the golems, we acolytes have fewer opportunities to serve. You are unwelcome. Uh, well, time to weed out the, the weak. I only see to serve the Lotus Assassin, let me pass. Out of my way, you'll be dead when I'm running this place. I only seek to serve the Lotus Assassins, let me pass. We all serve, but those who serve are not more equal. We are losing status to the Golem army, and you want to take more attention away from us? I think you need to prove your worth. I think so too. We have nothing to prove to these animals. Yes, we do. Should she prove her worth? No, she can defend it or die. Uh, your masters will not like this. I'm a septic recruit. If any of you think you can beat me, step up now or stand aside. Uh, you realize the inevitability of this challenge. Good, that will make it easier to justify. You kill this fool. Oh, is that right? Just one? No, you need more than one. More blood to stain my hands. A badge of honor. You're an idiot. <laughs> Next. Bah, you're skilled, but assassins are not just quick steps and cuts. We will see if you're strong enough. This isn't over. Come on. Come on, no, no, don't walk away. We're not done. We're not done. Don't walk away. What are you doing? Get back in cover. So, there is no discouraging you. You have come to the heart of the assassins, and you already have enemies. Are you certain you are ready for what you will learn here? I don't think the choice is yours anymore. This is my realm where my demons hide. You will be forced to see them. So? You have shown little interest in my warnings, but now you will see. Why are you risking your life coming back here? Whose side are you on to? I'm eager to have your help. Why did you come here? How did you get past the Watcher? For all that he sees, 
He is blind if you know where the right shadows are. As for why I have come, I will decide that when I see how you react to this place. Go. Your new master is waiting. Secure a place near the heart of the assassins, and you will be near your goal. Grand Inquisitor Xia is key. How are you just standing here? Dude, get back into hiding. I don't know what to make of Zhu. He seems so tormented. He's an idiot. Alright, well we uh, punched a few guys. Hey, look at this. Golems, guys. Golems. Check it out. Golems. And more golems on the other side. Is there loot? Can I break things? 